In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a rotor cube image change effect on hover in Elementor. Let's get started. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hamza. To add this rotor cube image change effect on hover, you need an Elementor add-on called the Premium Add-ons for Elementor. And you need the Pro version because this only comes in the Pro version of the Premium Add-ons for Elementor. So to do that, by simply going back into your plugins area, once you install the premium add-ons for Elementor, you'll have access to the iHover widget. So make sure that it is activated. By activated, it should be in green. Once that is done, then you're simply going to go and open up any page in Elementor or any section. In this case, I'll add a new page. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll simply edit with Elementor. I don't need to show my header, so I'll simply use the Elementor canvas. And I'm going to start by adding a new section. It's going to be a two column section and it's going to be having a minimum height of VH100. I'll add a background image and a style background type. I'll insert my background image. Then I'll add my text. I'll give it a color and change the typography. To Oswald, weight is 900 and the transform is uppercase. Size will be 6.2 em. I'll add a background overlay, select our section and a background overlay. I'll choose black and that's it. In the second column, we'll search for iHover. And the iHover widget from the premium add-ons for Elementor shows up. I drag it into my second column. I'm going to add my first image. And on hover, I'm going to add another image instead of showing this text. So I'm going to come under content. We are going to use an icon. But the icon type is not going to be an icon itself. It's going to be an image. So I'll come over here and select an image. Alright, now when I hover over here. There is an image in here. So back inside our content section, we're going to change the icon size to 100% and disable the title since I don't want to display a title on this image. All right. Now when I hover over this, that's what we have now. We're going to remove this background color on the second image. So under style, container, hover overlay color, I'm going to slide into the transparency section so we have a transparent color something like this now we are going to change to the rotor cube effect to do that we are going to come back into our content and under hover effect we are going to change that to the rotor cube effect which is just down below here now when i hover over my image awesome our rotor cube effect shows up on hover Let's look into the responsive settings. I will reduce a little bit on the size of the text. That is to 4 em. I'll select the section and the layout and I'll change the minimum height to about a 50%. That's on the tablet. Let's go to the mobile version. Select our text and the typography. I'll reduce that a bit further and I'll add some padding at the top. And advanced, I'll link the values on the mobile device. And at the top, I'll add a padding of 20 pixels. Now I'll simply go and preview our changes. Here is our rotor cube image change on hover effect in Elementor. Hope you learned something new in this tutorial, and I can't wait to see what you create by following this tutorial. If you like the video, please make sure that you hit the like button because that actually helps me and also helps YouTube. To understand that you like this video and it will recommend it to other people. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new videos when I push them out. Have a good time and goodbye.